on court one, met in the form in Scotland. Scotland, represented by Robert Penn, well, what a thrilling uh, women's singles it turned out to be. A sharp contrast to the uh, one-sided nature of the men's singles and the mixed doubles. But it's Scotland that prevailed. 2-1 to the good. What's next, you ask? Well, it's men's doubles. Robert Blair and Paul van Rietveld up against uh, Ruud Bosch and uh, Kuhn Ridder. Although I don't know for a fact, we're getting the name van Rietveld. I thought a little bit of Dutch in uh, Scotland's pool as well. I was thinking that. I, I don't know, but I never talked to him, but uh, I I thought the same. Half well, Dutch, somewhere. Well, we've already seen uh, Rude Bosch in accent and also Robert Black, two of uh, the men that were in the mixed doubles. Interestingly, though, because uh, Blair and Ridder, the other player that's uh, in the uh, Dutch team, they have been uh, partners in the men's doubles before played in the Denmark and French Opens at the end of the year. Not much success there, but they did reach the quarterfinals of the Bitburger Open Grand Prix Gold in Germany as a pair. So they know each other's games pretty well. Scotland in the ascendancy, and uh, despite the fact there's no world ranking, despite the fact that uh, there's nothing to show from their performances in 2013, a chance here maybe for Scotland to wrap things up. Uh, they have lost one of their matches here this week. They lost to the world ranked 17 pair from Russia, Ivanov and Sozanov. They won their other two matches. But uh, they should obviously put together now that. Uh, Robert Blair is uh, back in the Scottish fold. And this is the Dutch pair they are taking on. They have a ranking 63. As you can see, they've been together as a pair a fair while. Been in good form. The last two events, they won together that was in uh, Tahiti in Peru they lost in the final of the Swedish international as well so you can see that win-loss ratio this year is pretty good isn't it but we saw in the uh, mixed doubles Robert Blair in uh, some good form alongside uh, Van Rietveld here who uh, feels in the last year started to make uh, the transition from Junior to senior, 21 you, now. Sudip Bav is the service judge. Van Rietveld actually plays men's doubles with an Englishman, which is uh, Mark Ellis. And they played pretty well. Yeah. They are uh, on the Denmark International at the start of this month, the mm. second title together. So she's. Uh, to get a bit of grub there, isn't she, Kirsty Gilmore? Got an appetite back now that that's all done with. Mm. Yeah, I can see this button to be a slight favourite here. As an anecdote, I can say that uh, I have personally played many times against uh, Ridder's dad, Rob Ridder from Holland. He was uh, the best player from Holland for, for many years. I used to play, so I uh, played in many occasions. So that's what we normally got the only got fans when it's there. So kids have uh, found the players have turned them up in the circuit as well. Yeah, I know. You do see it quite Ladies a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Netherlands, represented by Paul and Rita, Rod Bosch. On, on my left, Scotland, represented by Robert Blair and Paul Van Rieveld. Pluck that one out of 
this guy, haven't you? Yes. Oh, you check it. <laughs> I'm not going to question you on it. Just wide from uh, Blair. Of course, a, a match the Dutch have to win to keep the overall tie alive and take us into a decider in the women's doubles. That one's on the adjacent court. Still not awake, you know, from that mixed doubles. It's uh, <laughs> when he, he, he was <laughs> fast asleep on that one. Yeah, his head was spinning, wasn't it, after the mixed doubles? And he's uh, put another one into the net there, apologizes to his uh, teammate. Definitely have to pull up the socks and get into it. Better. Scotland have once hosted the Sudamin Cup, that was in uh, 2007, and that man there, Robert Blair, was playing for England, and uh, won a bronze, even finished uh, behind China and South Korea. I'm actually also thinking that Scotland hosted the 1997. Could there be like that? I can't check that one. Played alongside the, the individual world championships, and I was the yeah, wasn't a standalone. You know, and uh, I was I was the coach of the Malaysian team at the time, and we went to Glasgow, and we uh, actually qualified for, for the top group that year. Well, through the legs, and it paid off, and that's it. A good flick serve. We also saw it in the mixed, where Bosch was completely caught. I mean, it was a good serve, it would have counted over, but the, the fault was called on the receiver, which is why, at the moment, Ritter is having a chat with Kelly Hoyer. Mm. He, he's saying he moved, but he's saying <laughs> that there should have been a fault called against the server. The hen and the egg. Well, we did see it earlier on. Uh, there was a point where a fault was called on the server and a fault was called on the uh, receiver and yeah. they just called a let and carried on. They called a let, but yes. surely one does come first, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but they couldn't determine. Yeah, it looks easy. Yeah, it does so far. And uh, 
think Ritter and uh, Bosch need to get their act together. Otherwise, this one's going to slip away pretty quickly. Doubles, not a lot of play, all decided upon the first three shots. Yeah, so five. return in the third. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, Morgan, but we've had oh. an interval and they still haven't even been in court for six minutes and we've had 20 points. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's been one or two, or well one bloody I can remember in particular. It's uh, been fast and furious, but that apart it has been very quick. Things up a little. Oh. Good play. Right into the left hand there. And they always play cross court in a situation like that. And Robert Blair should know. He should know. He should be ready. Covered at the net. That one and then the next. There we go. Good play by Roberts. Oh. Lifting it over the front player. Very clever. Good play. Yeah, it's about smart thinking as well as hitting the shots, isn't it? Look at that. Then really upsetting the format of the Dutch pair there. Anticipating where your opponent is and you almost have to play the shot. And then follow up, yes. Good play again by Robert Blair. Oh. And putting a lot of pressure on the uh, brush there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I should say. that would have put on the umpire to make <laughs> the suggestion that you never know <laughs> that played a role well we've seen a lot of those called yeah. haven't we though yes yes far too much. he's very good from the uh, um, around the head and then when he's standing as a net player look at that one he's getting it again he is really good at that you should just block it to his forehand very nice and neat just a short block to the forehand and he's got to do a lot of running He's covering the, the round ahead every time. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 17-12 now at that point for the Dutch, but 12, Scott's uh, looking good. Don't forget, they win this match, they win the match. Decent pace to 59 from Bosch. Correct. 
deflected it. Yeah, she was right. We must be sitting too far away. From that. Yeah, sometimes you, because we're not quite, sometimes it looks like, because we're not quite dead on that on the line, yeah. Yeah, they can uh, deceive us. But, uh, hello, four points in a row. And that seemed an unstoppable march for Scotland to the first set. Now, oh, that's another one there. Yeah, it doesn't seem quite so certain. Yeah, they must get back into the attack. <coughs> the Dutch players has taken initiative here. And score, what, five or six? Five. Five, five in a row, yeah. Oh. Another one here. Six in a row. 17 all. Oh. Six. It at the interval. Now it's the batch ahead, 18 17. 17 11 almost. That should be a win. Oh, and a miss. Wow. 19 17. A turnaround by the Netherlands here. That's good coverage by Rida. Game points. Oh, no. unbelievable. Game point. It's absolutely unbelievable what's happening here. Nine straight points from a Dutch pair that well, it looked as if oh, they were well out of things. What a turnaround. Oh, who saw that coming? No one. Absolutely no one. When you consider who they were playing against, I never thought that could happen. But all credit to Ritter and Bosch. They Absolutely. did it. Well played. Ten points in a row. 21 17. British pair, I'm sure, a little stunned by the fact they lost. Second game, level play. They lost those ten points in a row at the end. I mean, can they recover from that? Oh. Also now playing down the, the more difficult end as well. points in a row. Two, love. Yeah. How long can you go? Oh, Bosch is serving really well. Good serve wide. Just need to win a point somehow here, the Scots. Get this, get a foothold Three, back in this match. Love.
it's almost like we're looking for a, a turnaround of equal size proportions here from the Dutch to the Scots. If they are to get anything from this set. There you go. They've got a point. That's a start. 14 points in a row. That's, that's very seldom seen. Really good defensive shot there by Bosch. Normally it would go straight, but he managed to get it cross. It was easy to see how he fooled the two Scottish players completely. And it ended up in that very difficult mid-court area. Sort of settle down now into a, 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 a normal pattern again. Not all one way traffic. Now, can they, the Scots? Somehow, I think the Scottish pair is playing a little bit too ambitious. They're trying too many things, and uh, they should just keep it steady. They're two good Anderson players. Don't be too ambitious and just play and uh, wait for their chances. But somehow, it's too busy. They, they want to do too much. So it's a high low surf. Yeah. Yeah, there's an apology after it as well. Oh, the defensive work from Bosch pays off, and the 
Scots are still stunned, aren't they? After that incredible turnaround in the first set. It's uh, the Dutch ahead in the second as well, 11 points to seven. Bring on the women's doubles, perhaps. <laughs> yes, that's going to be the next answer. I think the Dutch are playing a, a more clever game at the moment. They're more composed and they know what they want to do and they stick to it. So they do not play <coughs> too panicky and, and uh, like what I feel the, uh, the Scottish players do. It's just too... Post one, 20 seconds. Post one, 20 seconds. Right. Come on, guys, some quicker ends of Thanks, Eleven seven. Play. Good good lift. So that's, that's really well played by Rita. He's seizing the opportunity. And after that defense here, he is moving in. Well played. And he managed to finish it off. Oh. It's a Steve's match from the tall man. I think this this match could be a fine example of what it means when you are an established pair and you play on the circuit and you know how you want to play and, and you know your partner how he is moving along in the court and then this complete scratch pair from Scotland with the hardly ever play together. And especially, I think, when things start not quite going They're right. Going the way they want it. Yeah. You kind of, suddenly you lose belief. Mm. And they'd have lost one match already this week as well against the Russian pair. It will be, at, you know, one of the top 20 in the world pairs. Yeah, it's a good pair. It's a good pair. Very oh. Too many of these unforced errors. Distance here. by Bosch, to play by Blair, got to it here, and Rita was almost getting it back despite he had to cover the full court for both of the players.
was 13-7. There was six points in it. And now we're back to within one. I mean, it was a remarkable turnaround in the first set. Oh, it would be even more remarkable, I think, this one, given what happened there as well. is bleeding. And, uh, he needs some, uh, faster. Yeah, I think he's spot on. I think he's after his dive just before he was uh, scratching his his hand on the surface of uh, of the court, which is almost like sandpaper. But I can assure you, it will only last for two minutes, and that. Master bandage, whatever they will apply, will disappear. Yeah, all sorted. Normally these plasters, they uh, the adhesive is not strong enough yeah. and they just fall off straight away. Crucial point of the game. Another swing gone. Sounded like that, snatching it completely. situation yeah Rita was shouting out 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 but Bosch still took it and Rita got late on the net concentrating too much about what the partner was doing well it's been a couple of cracking games hasn't it the uh, women's singles this one one way then the other and this one suddenly is uh, back as a contest oh! another high serve that is trouble if he doesn't serve better than that under normal circumstances uh, he must be in trouble when they play tournaments that serve is so attackable and i think it was possibly a tactical mistake by the dutch pair to get that plaster on and all that you know just carry on they were in a, on a good roll and you know, just keep it going. I don't think it was much bleeding. I know they're not allowed to bleed on court, but I'm sure it was just in his hand and on the grip of the racket. So. Well, now they're two points away from victory, though. But 
they lost points. It could have been critical for them. Those 14 points in a row they lost, really. I mean, as you say, that they're, they're really two good players to, to, that, to suffer that. that. Happen, yes. Unbelievable. I think even you and I, we could get a point. Mm, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might get in the way more. To, but they have a game point. Now the Scots. The Scottish player is lucky that his player who's serving and not reach third. They're serving oh. so much better. And that will put them into trouble oh. now. Because uh, should the Dutch not win this point and uh, Rietveld have to serve for oh. the game, I don't think he can. Flick serve come maybe? Yeah, that could come. But he's playing on the far side. So we'll see. Let's see. Let's see. 21, 20. Oh, that was a good serve. <laughs> Would you believe it? Well, what an unpredictable match this has turned out to be, this men's doubles. 22, 20. Yeah, the pendulum has swung another way. Yes. It's one set all, 22-20. Blair and uh, Van Rietveld take that second set. comes down to an unlikely third set and uh, in some respect you don't want a good start Morton <laughs> after what happened in the first two. No, no, that's, that's so true. I want to try five points then I win. Lull the opposition into that full sense of security. Bad news for Scotland is they're leading two now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see. It's a good game. Oh, that's well left. That's just by a fraction. Good backhand, strong backhand there from Blair. 
driving it back. There's no doubt, if you want to play flat exchanges on the Dutch pair, you have to hit Bosch. Rida is much, much better. Like that. That's the clever lift again, and then the misunderstanding, because it's a complete scratch pair. If any difference between the two pairs, I actually think it's it's on the um, on the serving. I think the Dutch pair is serving much better than the Scottish pair. So that could be a deciding factor later on. as well. Yes. Very marginal. Quick serve. And come there. say I, I find Rita is the best uh, play on court so far of all four he plays quite solid good in, her in his defense good at the driving good at the nets playing really solid good badminton oh. a tricky flick serve Six, get away with it Bosch who served 14 points. Uh, he's a strong server. Again, a good serve. So that was good for the Scottish pair to break that straight away. stay focused don't they both pairs here easy to think of what could have been yeah, they both had their chances oh. and a good serve by the Dutch just need to get a couple of points don't they before this interval we should never go in the lead of two nil in this set so.
produce a good serve again. Yeah, that was a good serve. But he stuck it in the net. Mm. And it's 11-7 to the Dutch in this final set. Looking from the outside, I must say, Rico looks like the weakest link in the in the Dutch pair at the moment. He makes lots of mistakes. So if anything that Dutch can do, you know, try to focus their attack on Rico, I think that would be a, a good idea. Let's go, come on. Come on, of course, in the first two games, the pair leading at the break went on and lost. Bosch and Van Riet and uh, Ritter are that hoping that little run ends here. If so, they can take it into a fifth match. Bit of luck there with the left cord as well. see if uh, Rosh could play into that mid-court area but it got too too long and too high and obviously too easy to attack for Blair. So a good serving for Blair is very important here. Difficult call, but I think it's a but again, it's hard to see. But I, I'm sitting right on the line here. And I think that one is in. Is this the decisive lead now? Yes. It's not going to change. Yeah. Even after what you've seen already in this match. And the Scottish player is a bit too erratic for that, I think. time the Dutch are going to score one point the others must score at least three to get back into this yeah. 10-15 the score and that could be the time by the time this match finishes the way things are going after that roller coaster women's singles the doubles we're seeing here and well the women's doubles looking like it's on its way now and again i said that about half an hour ago <laughs> well that's good if we can uh, show some good badminton here on tv and uh, again i think it's very nice that we're not always just seeing china play uh, korea indonesia malaysia denmark for that matter but we see other teams playing as well. I think that's very nice that we get an opportunity to expose that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Good 
Good serve again from Blair. I would just play it very, very simple all the time. Just block and smash, and that's all I would do. Great defensive like work that, from Ritter. Like that, because he will make the mistake. I think it's good he's not trying too much. And he pushed it out. Just as you said it. Yeah. A really important point that was as well chance to get back within three and now they're five behind. Oh. That's a cool scoring system. The Dutch here have done enough. Bruno and Bosch, three points away from victory. still alive but I would say it's a long way up we saw it in the ladies singles I think catching up by four points oh that helps their cause it's Scotland's that is Good serve. Only option was to play it upwards, and uh, that got killed immediately. So now we're into all this psychology again. Four points in a row from Scotland. Still just. Can see the finishing line, can't they? Here, the Dutch. Two more points needed. Surely not. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> I did question you when you said it. I did say yeah, it's impossible. That's um, the impossible is possible today, especially in this match. Although, look at the score. The Dutch are still ahead. Oh, that's clever. Oh. I can tell you, uh, few of the Scottish. Blair is really taking it all into his own hands to play this match. And he's done so well in the last few points here. That's a lucky but clever shot. 19 all, five points in a row. Good he's serving. Come on. Just block it, hit it, block it, block it. Oh, oh, it's, right. it's match point. Match point, Netherlands. Does it end here? This game has been Good far serving. from straightforward. One down. Oh, one down, and he. 
Richard was lucky to get that one over. Considering the standard from him, from the rest of the match, that was a lucky one, that one there. He, oh. did, he didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to see where it was going. Nope. He played a good shot and a good serve again. Going well. Well. Second match point for the Dutch. This has turned out to be I think one team's got it then the other then back again and then the Dutch again with a chance here to wrap it up but they can't it's 21 all and if you're in the women's doubles pairs you must be watching am I am I'm, yeah let's get ready we're just about to go on no we're not let's get back They just have to focus on warming up. That's all they have to do. Oh, what a return from Bosch. Excellent return on that one. Well, this is the third time of asking Kuhn Ridda serving for the match. And to take us into a decisive fifth rubber in this tie. He's serving again, but could return. So, 29, 29. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying it, it will happen one day. Everything else has happened. Yeah. And for the first time, it's match point Scotland. And when I say match point Scotland, I mean Taiwan. Yeah, match point two. He's oh, oh, oh. missed a few of those, and uh, not the best shot of the day. really clever by Robert Blair they're not hitting it but just directing it down so the Dutch have had three match points now Scotland have their third game kicking on towards the hour mark there to win Oh, Blair's fallen over, and Van Rietveld struggles to get there. Oh, what a moment for that to happen. As you were saying, Morton, the point was there to be won. It was. It was. I don't know what's happening there. He's falling. Oh, almost twisted his angle. But luckily, nothing happened. And the Dutch can't believe their luck. And they stay in with a shout at the 24 points all. But the funny thing was that Ritzel didn't see that Blair was falling. So he was just standing at the back. Oh, look at that, look at that. He doesn't see it. No, oh, on. oh. Oh. Wait. Oh, what a dramatic match this has turned out to be. top in this point dogged defending from the Scots and it's match point once again for the Netherlands surely 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 Into the 29, 29. 
Okay. I've never commentated. Jill was saying earlier she's commentated on three. On three? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've never commentated on any. Count of how many match points five. Do this is number five. <laughs> five match points. Not one taken. Twenty six all. Well, we're getting closer to the reality. Still lots of badminton to be played. Match point number six. Don't push it, just block it and get the lift and get the control. Don't open up for too many things. Blair's changed his racket here, but again, like he did in the uh, earlier sets, uh, he's just not asked for a warm up. No. Let's carry on. That's a high seven, that's out. Match point number four for Scotland. Is this the moment? No is the answer. Oh, the despair on the faces of the Scottish team. We're getting close to 29, 29. And obviously the score ends at 30. So no further than 29, 29. It's in, in, it's in. And My goodness me. And Robert Blair is going to serve now, which is very lucky for the Dutch team. I'm well, oh, sorry, the Scottish team. We, there's a maximum of two more points to be played in this match. Yes. Scotland either win it here, or it's do or die. Yeah. Flick serve. It's out. Unbelievable. What a match this has been. Scotland are on their feet. They're on their way to the court. Well, 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 well. The second level of the 2013 Sudamin Cup is won by Scotland in the most dramatic of circumstances. A match they looked like they had in the bag was suddenly looked like it was completely lost and then they take it 30 points to 28 in the final set. Morton, that was fun, wasn't it? It was, it was great fun. Good to watch. Excellent entertainment. Good for oh, Badminton. Well, 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 well. A roller coaster of emotions. And that was just for Morton Meeson in the commentary box. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. So just, true. Just a couple of minutes short of an hour. But, uh, well, it, it went one way, then the other. And you just really didn't want to predict anymore because the form was going out of the window. Whoever was leading looked vulnerable. Yes. And congratulations to Scotland and well done to, to the Netherlands. So what a fine match. Robert Blair there we saw with the winning serve. Well, he was in action early on. It was far more straightforward against uh, Selena Peek and Rudebosch, 21-5 points to 21-16 in the opening match. Scotland one up. And, uh, well, looking good for the Scots there. And, uh, well, it was pretty straightforward for Eric Pang, wasn't it, in the uh, men's singles more Yes, it was. It was simple, to be very honest. 21-13, yeah, 21-16, the scoreline for that one. And, uh, it was one all. So two very straightforward matches, but that's where the 
<laughs> the straightforwardness stopped. stopped. Absolutely. And the first one that gave us some thrills was this match between Kirsty Gilmore and Fanny Stoltzenberg. Gilmore took the first set 21-16. Stoltzenberg hit back 21-14, then was well ahead in the final set as well, but mm, Gilmore hit back 24-22 in the final. She was four or five points down in the third. And she was lucky on that one, I remember. <laughs> yeah, it was just point. about going out on the match points. And then this. Remember this match? <laughs> <laughs> just seen it. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be remembered for a while, though, won't it? What, what a dramatic, twisting, turning men's doubles match it proved to be. And uh, what a way for level two to end its uh, process in the 2013 Sudamin Cup. Congratulations to Scotland. A wonderful way for it all to conclude. There is the final scoreline. Scotland three, the Netherlands one. Morton, it's been a pleasure. Yes, You'll be absolutely. back for the uh, semi-finals and final with Jill, but from myself, Richard Kaufman, we'll see you again soon.